Good morning, guys. Um, today is the 24th of May, and we are going to the gym. If you're new here, I'm Alexis Adams, um, IFBB Wellness Pro Competitor. Um, my last video was taken down because I don't know why, and I don't have the brain to fix it. Um, so, I'll give you a quick update. We've been planning Toronto Pro, which is like two weeks and two days out. Um, this season, I am working with a new coach, Stefan Kienzel. It's Boss of Outlaw on Instagram. And um, I moved to Florida. So that's why you see palm trees in the background. Um, and that's it in a nutshell. That's all the big changes so far. Um, right now, we are on our way to cardio. Um, if you've been following my Instagram, you've kind of seen some updates. Um, we went on a long trip. Um, Martin guest post at Pittsburgh, and then we went from Pittsburgh to New York. He competed at New York, and then we came back here. So it has, we were gone for like 10 or 11 days. Um, and I, when we left, I was four weeks out, almost four weeks out. So, Doing all of that, that close to show was interesting, um, but we survived, we made it, we made progress on the trip. Now we're back, and there's no trips until we leave for show. Um, plot twist, yesterday, um, Coach made the call that we are going to do Miami before Toronto. So, we are one week and one day out, um, or yeah, one week and one day out. Show is a week from tomorrow. So we're almost in peak week. So yesterday was a full rest day. Um, my weight was a little bit up. I was inflamed. Um, took off from the gym, took off from cardio, but cardio is back in the mix at least until Sunday. So we're doing cardio this morning. I have 40 minutes. Been doing 40 minutes six days a week. Um, fasted and then training four days a week. So um, we'll do cardio this morning and then I have, I'll train hamstrings later today. And since Martin's done with shows now, he's gonna finish training me into my shows. Um, so he'll do his own session and then he'll come and train me and just helps me push a little bit at the end. If you've ever been this close to show, you know that it's not the easiest thing to do, like your mind can tell you that the barrier is there really before your body is. So um, he'll make sure that I get those extra last reps for these last couple leg days. Um, Cause it'll really be like today and tomorrow is my last leg days. And then um, next week will be less than a hundred percent because we'll be going into show, which is crazy. So the new plan is um, Miami Muscle Beach um, June 1st next weekend and then June 9th we're still doing Toronto so the show for Miami is on Saturday we'll do that show come back probably Sunday or Saturday night depending it's only two hours so we'll see and then um, leave on Wednesday for Toronto spend the rest of peak week up there for Toronto um, and then we're going to spend an extra day to just explore. That's what we did in New York and it was really fun. Um, walked around Manhattan and that was cool. So we're going to do the same thing in Toronto. Um, ex the show is on Sunday there. So we will um, do the show Sunday, explore on Monday, and then come back. And then we're planning at least one more show after that. So I will keep you updated on those things. Um, I will do my very best to show you how I'm going to pack for these shows. Um, and then if you hop over to um, the Girl Gains podcast, I'll put the link down here. Um, I'll show you what I'm putting in my backstage bag for my shows too. So um, we've kind of gone over it before in the podcast and like given you a list, but I'll, we have video now too. We have YouTube. So I'll... Um, show you what I'm putting in there. Also, another update. Um, one, I'm trying out different heels. I'm kind of going back to the normal um, strap heels. 
So still doing the 2.0s. They're still uh, Olympian 2.0s from the Shoe Fairy. They're still two and a, or four and a half inches instead of five, but they have this strap. And I've kind of been going through my routine and my mandatories with them, and I feel a little bit more solid. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep those. So I have those in my bag. And, and, um, Krista sent me my suits and she sent two. So we planned on one, it's red. I'll probably show you that one. And then we talked about the background at Toronto is red. It's like red and orange and yellow. Um, so my skin tone with a red suit with that background is probably not the best idea. So we're, she also sent me a surprise suit. It was a surprise to me. I've already seen it now, of course. Um, I'm not sure when I'll show you, but it is also velvet. So the red is red velvet, just like my original red. Um, it's just a little bit brighter with different stones in it. Um, and it has the jewel um, connector on the back instead of the ties that my junior national one had. Um, and then the new suit is velvet also, but it's a, it's a color I've never done before. So you haven't seen it on me. You probably will this season. Um, it's actually, I was expecting her to send something else and she completely surprised me. So we'll see um, when I show you, but it's probably gonna hit the stage because I was actually very pleasantly surprised when I put it on. So we're on the way to the gym to revive now. We'll do cardio and then I'll pose. Um, I'll record that, put it in here. Weight this morning was 146. Lowest it's been was like 145.4, I think. Um, we'll see what it is Go like to show. Peak week of Olympia was 138. <laughs> so we're a little bit up in weight, but the look is way better than Olympia. So it's been interesting for sure um, to see how the different changes have been. Up until now, um, my cardio has only hit 40 minutes total per day. And you know, in the past, going into the Olympia, um, I've done 50 minutes fasted, 50 minutes evening. So almost two hours of cardio a day, plus a step count. I don't have a step count this prep. Um, I've still like made sure that I keep my movement up in general. I don't just lay around all day. Um, and that's not me anyway, if you know me. But that's where we're at. So I'm going to try to get this up this weekend. Um, I'll show you training today. This might be a shorter one. Um, but I promise I'm trying to do better at YouTube. I just got really frustrated with the last video being taken down and I couldn't figure out why. So I'm going to do my due diligence to make sure there's no background music, nothing that is going to get me in trouble and get this taken down. So here we go. Alright, 
we are um, on our way to the gym. So usually I train at Revive in Stewart, um, but we're going to Tradition and we're gonna train at the new Raw Gym. Technically, the, new, the grand opening is tomorrow, Saturday, um, but Martin got us able to be get in today so that we can train and it won't be packed. Tomorrow it's gonna be crazy. Um, so that's what we're about to do. Martin is gonna train me and then he'll train himself. Um, if you saw my story today, I put it on my story because, um, oh, I can put it in here, duh. Um, I'll put it here. You can see the change um, of peak week at the Olympia. I was like 138 at the start of peak week. Um, is my back shot versus what I am now. I was 146 this morning. Um, so eight pounds up still going into my first show of the season. Um, leaner and bigger. And like obviously more weight. So it's quite interesting. Um, I really only had like a good 12 weeks of off season before I started prep with Nelson. And then when I started, when I switched to Stefan, he actually did bump my food and pulled my cardio down, but then we kept recomping and losing fat. So like the food went up for like six or seven weeks before he dropped it. And he's only dropped it a total of five times and we're going into peak week now. Um, but it's very interesting what less stress um, and a better mental state will do for your training and for your progress and all of that. So emphasis on remove negative things from your life. Okay, so, and make a better life for yourself. So we're on the way to the gym. I'm excited for this gym. I'll try to take some clips if they let me because um, it's supposed to be super great. Um, hoping they have a posing room so I can pose. I brought my pink suit because I love that thing. And this close to show y'all, I like being in a sparkly suit. Um, Krista hates that I put them on so often, <laughs> but I'm also not gonna put the sh suit colors in here quite yet. Um, cause I don't know which one I'm going to wear for what show. I do think that I'll interchange a little bit for shows this year. Um, and kind of, it gives like, that's one of the benefits of doing multiple shows is that I can, um, get feedback on different colors. I'm going to do my hair differently for different ones. Um, talking about hair, my, so you can see there's a little bit of curl. So when I got my hair cut yesterday, the stylist just curled it a little bit with the, um, straightener to like style it a little bit for me and I liked it so I sent it to Amber and you guys know that I don't listen on the first try so um when she when I sent it to her she was like when I said put a little bit of curl this is what I meant and I was like oh I like it so she, she'd she been saying curl it with a straightener and it'll hold the curl a little bit better like curl it as you're straightening it so um, and it has held so far and it's probably also because I've been taking better care of my hair haven't been putting as much heat on it all of that um, so I the straightener that I use is like the babyliss um, but it's chunky so it's like it's very blocky and square so you can't really curl with it um, but I love it it's lasted me forever I've had it since my pageant days it's amazing um, but I got a cheap rounded like Remington straightener from Target and I tried it out today and touched up the curls and you can see they're there um, I also want to film this workout so I wanted my hair to look half decent <laughs> but I'm a little bit sold on it so I might um, I'm not gonna do like the full curly hair thing for Miami because Amber is not gonna be there um, but this I think I could do myself so I'm gonna test it out again when I wash it, dry it, and straighten it again. If I can duplicate this, I may do it for Miami and that'll give me really three different hairstyles this season because I'll probably do straight, unless I love this, I'll do straight at Toronto. And then the next show, Amber will be at and she will um, help me do curly hair. Like full what I did for um, Pittsburgh and New York when I was like, I didn't compete there, but I was there. Um, 
on my last trip. So we will see. Um, but I'm in my hair exploration era, if you will. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry, Amber, but I love you. And we, you know, things come at the right time. And I guess up until now, it wasn't the time for me to listen to have curly hair until now. So that's where we're at. Um, I am going to try to do a, this is what I pack in my backstage bag video and put that on the girl gains. Um, and then the girl gains podcast, YouTube. Um, and then Amber and I are going to do a podcast next week to go over my peak week stuff. So it's interesting. The plan for peak week, um, you guys know this is the first time working with this coach. This will be our first peak together. He will not be there. Um, but I've seen the process a little bit like passively through Martin, how he's peaked Martin and he controls everything. Um, it's like distilled water, you know, exactly how much salt you measure your salt. Um, he sent me like a tentative, um, peak week plan. And of course he's still going to look daily and meal by meal next week. Um, but like one of the interesting things is that he uses rice milk. So I think the way that Martin did it is like he cooked his rice in the rice milk, I think, um, or his cream of rice or something. I'll show you guys as I'm doing it, as I'm figuring it out. Um, but it's a good way to get carbs in without a lot of volume. So sure during prep we like volume because it makes you feel full but then when you're peaking and you have to fill out with carbs carbs fill your stomach and one of the issues that people can run into is bloating from however much food you have to eat in order to fill the muscle and digestion so rice milk is easy to digest and is higher in carbs but it isn't high in volume so then you don't get the bloating issue so that'll be interesting so i've never done that and i don't know what it tastes like <laughs> So we will see. I'll do what I have to do, though. Um, and then the other interesting thing that's on the list is um, raisins. And I believe that is probably, like, for the fiber content to make sure that, like, with the increase in, like, food and protein will go down to make sure that, like, digestion and, like, bowel movements are normal. Um, which I don't mind raisins. I just... I haven't eaten raisins except in trail mix since I was like in grade school. <laughs> so interesting. Um, but they're not foods that I dislike and I'll give it a shot. We do it earlier in the week. So like if something doesn't sit well, it's not like we're doing it the day before. Um, but I'm not going to ask to change anything until I give the original way, way a try and we will see how it goes. So I'll show you guys how that works. Um, I'm going to film some of this next, like this training session today. Um, Martin's going to be pushing me, which is really nice. Um, I can't emphasize how helpful it is to have a training partner, especially in the depths of prep. You guys know that for the majority of my career, I've trained by myself. Um, Olivia came and had a contract near me in Virginia and we trained together the majority of the 12 weeks that she was there. Um, but like regularly I haven't had a training partner and especially this deep in prep and it's been amazing to have someone help me push. So, um, since I've been in Florida and Martin's helped me, um, a good amount, we've done a couple leg days together, but for the majority, he's just like almost there as like a trainer. Um, and then when he got close to show Ivana Ivusik, um, she helped me a lot or Ivana Wilkin now, um, we trained together and that was really helpful because she has a lot more training experience than I do. Um, and she could see where I had more reps, where I had more in me, more in the tank and would help me like get all the way to maximize that training session. And that I think has helped a significant amount with keeping muscle on. And like that comparison that I told you guys about, I do think in hindsight, I lost muscle at some point in the last prep. When you lose muscle like that, it does tend to come back quickly because the muscle fibers are there. Um, but still, in the moment, you need that muscle for stage. So being able to hold on to the muscle while I lose fat has been extraordinarily important in creating a new package for stage this season. Um, 
So now that Martin's through his shows, he's ready to push me through the rest of my shows. And then we can revamp and go into the Olympia together um, after I qualify, right? Um, so that's the plan. We drove separate because he's going to train after me and I don't want to stay there. I didn't want to bring my post-workout because carbs are not in abundance at this point and I want to eat it fresh. So I know I haven't showed you guys a whole lot of what I've been eating. That's hard for me to do because I, like, I eat before my phone eats. But I will do my very best to show you what I do for my meal, my post-workout meal after this. Um, and I don't know what else, what else. I have some client stuff that I need to do this evening. You don't need to see that. Um, so I'll try to get this video up tomorrow and then I can kind of do like some kind of a peak week series of some sort. I'll figure that out. If you have things that you want to see, comment them please. Um, and then we will catch up. I'll show you, I'll take you through the rest of this journey.
Okay, guys. So, cream of rice from Elevate. This is what I've been liking to use. Um, this one's chocolate. Cook it like cream of rice in the microwave. And then I have strawberry um, protein powder and strawberries that I'm going to mix in. 